Um, my project was on the many phases of aspirin. These were my project aims. How does aspirin work as a painkiller? What are the important features of the molecule that allow it to target specifically? How does it act? And what happens if you take too much? It also went to further research such as why plants make an aspirin-like compound when they are stressed? Why might this be important for plants uh, for eventual survival? This is my methodology. I used mainly the internet as an information source. I obviously picked the most reliable sites such as the actual aspirin company site. And I went on to look at the molecular structures that would help me by going on chemistry revision sites from AS topics. Um, as it is an ester and a carboxylic acid. And also the news articles that I went on um, based their information from trusted research centres, um, which I'll look at later. And uh, these research centres have been approved. And yeah, this was when I was mainly looking at the plants and what they do. Once the information was collected, it was used to answer my questions under appropriate subheadings. My key findings were that aspirin works by enzyme inhibition in a biochemical pathway that produces prostaglandins. Prostaglandins are actually what mediate pain and are chemicals that are responsible for inflammation also. Important features of the aspirin molecule is the ability to block an active site and carry out acetylation by introducing an acetyl group into chemicals that produce prostaglandins. So effectively, it suppresses the production of prostaglandins. If we take too much aspirin, it can lead to excessive bleeding, stomach upset, and thinning of the mucus lining. Plants make an aspirin-like compounds in order for it to have an immune-like function and as a means of communication with neighbouring plants. This is important for eventual survival of many uh, species of plants because it means action can be taken sooner. Suggestions for further research are we can um, help provide cures for compounds found within plants or diseases we have for diseases we have today. For example, compounds derived from daffodil bulbs atropine, fox gloves can all help with heart conditions as well as finding a cure for Alzheimer's. Further research could include detecting chemicals above crops to see if farms can increase profit if they change the surrounding conditions. And that's the end of my project. <laughs>